hello from a beautiful sunny day um, late February 2020 uh, here you see some solar panels that I'm testing and using but I want to make a video about the yurt kitchen so we go inside there you see a little bit more um, let's see if the focusing will work no. yes okay so here you see my kitchen set up um, we start with the sink uh, this is from an old lamp and this is all food powered so you see there's a foot pump I carry water in canisters and it's actually a foot pump is really nice you can like really you know get very little going or you can have full power and you can just keep it running and stop it so it actually saves water really well because um, you can control the flow with the foot and yeah so the wastewater the gray water uh, I basically only have gray water in here goes in the bucket and um, the water is in a way that I can use it directly on the mulch beds um, yeah this is like all you know secondhand stuff um, the table the this top here and um, this baskets here I, at some point in my life I'd started to you know gather stainless steel stuff and uh, yeah I know now why you know it's easy to pile and um, doesn't break uh, easy to clean so then there are a couple of banana boxes with uh, mainly dry food and food that doesn't go bad um, this box is like kind of my go-to box then in the moment I have a box outside with food because it's nice and cold and the main food storage is or the cold food storage I show is here in the bottom of the yurt let's open this and that's that's my fridge so I made this pillow here now you can also see a little bit how the floor is built so I have this mattress that I filled with uh, Leka and just to give you an idea outside we have minus 12 degrees I don't know if you can see this mm, the angle is a bit weird but it says my, uh, plus 4 degrees and then I have these baskets that I can lift out and yeah that's the fridge works really well what I really like is that um, it's not not so easy to open so I'm a bit um, it's a bit easier to keep track on food intake um, so then part of the kitchen so I have a couple of these small pots they also fit uh, into the G stove oven nicely some frying pans cast iron two cast iron frying pans a wok um, yeah, I don't have many cups. There's a little gas stove that I haven't used yet. Well, I have used it before I moved in here, so it's like I thought I'd keep it. I don't give it away when I was getting rid of stuff. You know, it's like a quick backup if I just want to heat some water. But now if I want to quickly heat some water, I use a Kelly kettle or a rocket stove outside. It's a bit faster than the Emma. Uh, the Emma is like really nice space heater, but if I don't want to heat space and just heat something up, then I use the black kitchen. So I have basically, I have a black kitchen and a silver kitchen. So the silver kitchen does not get in contact with fire and the black kitchen does. So, and the black kitchen is outside in the black tent, uh, which you might be able to see. There is the black tent. That's the black kitchen. Yeah, so um, more about the kitchen. So I'm cooking here, that's the cooking surface. Uh, then I have a soapstone um, plate here. I don't know, is it called plate? Well, piece of soapstone, which, you know, where I can keep things warm. Um, so I have like always some shaga tea going on. Um, and yeah, I have a place here for drying. So dry different things here. 
like eggshells that are gonna crush and uh, turn into food supplement. Um, then I'm drying old bread up here. Some mint is drying there. Oh, well, that's very dry. So it's very good for drying things here also, of course, clothing around the stove and stuff. Um, if I'm cooking bigger meals, like where I do more than one dish or two, um, and I don't have the space, then there's two things I do is I pack things in blankets under sleeping bags that I have, you know, made that I just want to keep warm. Um, then I also have um, this, like it's a, a thermos box, so it's a bit like hay box cooking. Um, this tank here is warm water, 60 degrees almost, so it's like almost always warm water if I want. And that's that's water that I don't use for drinking. Yeah, that's basically it. That's my kitchen. Um, overall, I'm really, really satisfied. Um, much, much easier, much less work than um, than the previous kitchen from the house where I lived, where we had this, you know, electric dishwasher and things. Uh, so I don't need electricity for this. Uh, here, by the way, you can also see a bit of my electric setup. Um, it's a bit of experimentation. So this white one is a charge controller for the big panels, but I will make a video, a separate video about the electric setup and some thoughts and developments on that one. Okay, that was the kitchen and uh, wish you a wonderful time. Bye bye.